you're the middle. And you just push the front of your robot and bend it till it's balanced, but you're not actually completely on the front of your robot is though. Is that counts two of you balancing, or is that how many count as them balancing, even though you're helping them? So even if you have just an inch or two of your robot, because that actually really helps for balancing. The whole, the whole robot doesn't have to be within the thing. As long as the as long as your robot is on top of the bridge and not supported by anything else, it doesn't matter if any of your robots hanging off the side. The other thing is, is that actually it helps us. It might give you an unintended advantage. What we're talking about. Well, no. What happens is, let's say that the front of your robot is pointed towards the center of the bridge. This other guy is coming up on this side. He can actually get underneath you a little bit. That might be a positive. Yeah, you just go make sure that doesn't the destroy the robot. On the bridge, that's what she was. Just be sure the she just wants to make sure, to make sure, sure. Make sure they don't get stuck. Yeah, make sure you don't hurt. Make sure right. nothing's going to hurt the robot. Right. Yeah, but we at the same time, you don't want there. a robot to get under you, well, and we still need to check. But I think having rollers on them would kind of eliminate the getting stuck because they can just back out. But you still want to check the bumper requirements. Case. And uh, yeah,